All right, guys, we are back in Outriders, and today we are on the Outriders Reddit reading. So we're going to take a scan through Reddit and see what it is that you guys have got to say about the game. I'm really interested because you guys always have a will glowing report for this game. Let's get into it. What is going on guys, my name is CloudPlays and welcome back to another Outriders video here on the channel. In today's video we are looking through Reddit and we're going to be seeing what you guys are thinking. You guys always seem to will entertain the life out of me with these sorts of things, so you generally like these Reddit videos. So let's take a look and see what it is that we have got right now. But before we do, if you'd be so kind to smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. We're nearly at 20,000 subscribers, so close I can touch it. So hit that sub button and let's get this going. Also, we're sponsored by Advance GG, so make sure that you use code CLOUD for discount. The link is down in the description if you want to check it out. Let's get it. Okay, so post number one is actually quite of an interesting one. The post actually states, Destiny meets Gears of War, matchmaking fix. Now it states that I'm extremely happy with the turnout of the game after being burned by Cyberpunk and quickly realizing that Outriders was having difficulty with matchmaking, I took a bit of a break after spending 50 hours in the game. I wanted to make the most out of the game. I'm happy to report that I have no issues now and the game play is smooth with matchmaking. I'm on PC, the others I have been paired with are all over the place, Xbox, PS4 and other PC users. It's been a blast. I find that when I'm with other players, I typically get better gear. Now that is actually really interesting as we've got quite a few posts on this Reddit page that are from new players. Now, the reason this is interesting and the reason that I was kind of surprised that somebody's been on it for 50 hours is because the game actually holds a really bad reputation. And if you guys haven't heard of the reputation and the way it actually has impacted the game, we covered that in a video earlier on in the week. You can check that out, link in the description. But anywho, it's really surprising so we've got new players in the game with around 1500 daily players on Steam. It's kind of cool to see that people are really enjoying the game again, especially after just picking it up regardless of what it is that people are saying. So massive shout out to you man, hopefully you enjoy the game. I'm really excited to see how it is that it turns out for you. Next up we have got another one saying, is it worth coming back? I left after getting my Trickster and Pyro max level, neither have perfect builds and highest clear was CT13. Just checking to see if any updates have fixed the co-op and some of the other technical issues and if you think it's in a better state to come back to play. Well this one is actually a really easy answer for me and I know you guys are going to raise me in the comment section and probably disagree with everything that I'm saying right now but the game is probably in the best state it's been since the demo and that's just my personal opinion. We've had some really well sketchy points and really dodgy places that the game's been in and uh, yeah I'm really excited to see where the game's going because realistically right now I I know a lot of you guys may be having issues and we are going to get into some of those posts in just a minute but yeah i'd say get back in it my dude if you are looking for a right time to do it i'd say now's definitely the right time another post right here states where's the content they say that first off i love this game when playing it a couple months ago i only i'm only here wondering what's going on with content i quit playing two months ago due to becoming bored of the lack of content i got sick of running the same expeditions over and over and over there just wasn't enough to do i don't mind grinding and actually see it as a staple of any good rpg but there has to be some think I'm working towards. I don't play for achievements or to flex. I play for enjoyment and do not see tedium as fun. I can't believe after two months there's not one new piece of content, not one new expedition, no DLC. Maybe I missed something and there's something you guys could point me towards in the future. I would love to see a future for this game but right now and it's looking bleak. The game's been out long enough that there should be more than bug fixes and buffs. Yes, fixing bugs should be priority but it shouldn't be this far from its release with no new content. I really hope the game reaches its potential. Now this one is where I'm going to completely disagree with this post and it actually got a downvote for me. The reason it got a downvote and the reason I disagree with this is because on posting this they're essentially saying that after two to four months there should be new content. Well I don't really know any new games out there that are launching brand new DLCs or launching expansion packs to that degree after a couple of months. That's just not how games work anymore and for me 
personally after they have stated regardless of my opinion on it and you guys know my opinion on it they stated it's not a live service game and we'll have to wait for the new content to come maybe later on in the year and this is a one and done game so i don't really know what it was that you were expecting from this maybe you go and play some other stuff and come back to this in a couple more months time and see where it is that the game's at but there is definitely going to be content it's just a matter of what it is and when it's going to be coming so i think your expectations are a little bit too high but we again covered this just earlier on in the week that the community have got an opinion which is just a little bit crazy with the expectation levels that they've got and yes that's coming from me my expectations are high I know. Next up, we've actually got a really refreshing post right here that states this game is awesome. Wow, I just started playing this because I just got Game Pass and oh my lord, I've been downloading and trying out new games for weeks now and nothing keeps my attention for longer than a few hours. But this game, I just can't stop playing it. The cutscenes in the beginning were so good engaging. I remember my jaw dropping when he woke up for the second time after seeing how messed up that world had become because that jerk at the beginning didn't listen to you. The gameplay is quick and fast and the abilities are awesome. Placing it playing as a trickster and it's so satisfying teleporting all over the map to get up close and personal and gain health and shield by getting up close kills. And consistently getting new loot and feeling stronger and tougher almost every mission you play. This game is challenging and I'm not really surprised I'm loving it so much. I just had to make a post here. Sorry for a single paragraph. I'm crap at writing. Now this is the bit that I love. And this is the feel that I miss from this game. When we first all got onto Outriders. And there is nobody in the comments right now that you can disagree with me on this. But obviously the server issues of getting on the game. Once we were in there and we had made our first character. And we were progressing through the storyline. Although the storyline was a little bit sketchy and it ended quite badly the whole overall aspect of the game was so damn enjoyable and the feel of being a new player is absolutely amazing so seeing that the game has got new players coming in is actually really good this reddit post actually gives me a warm fuzzy feeling inside and i just wanted to make sure that we put that one out there because realistically this doesn't give the ongoing players and the previous player base this feeling anymore as they've kind of gone past that feel of the fresh game feel and that's a real big shame because the game is still in that place and although you know the storyline the dlcs and stuff that are going to be coming in the future should hopefully still give you that warm fuzzy feeling inside as you get up close and personal depending on what it is that they bring to the table now this next post is actually quite interesting as i didn't realize that this was even a thing now don't take my word for it completely as i've not looked too much into it although this does look quite interesting now there is a post which is called out riders.app and this apparently has got quite a few bits and tail to it including your own library of builds that you can edit duplicate and share when ready share beautifully rendered build for everyone to see and these posts are on reddit as well they look absolutely amazing i'm really surprised actually and how good this look you can explore outriders like never before with this and it's really quite a detailed app if i'm completely honest and they seem to have done a very very good job with this they've got detailed gun points they've got armor stats they have got all sorts of stuff that just doesn't seem to be something that Square Enix or PCF have provided themselves. So this is a third party app. This isn't like made by the company themselves. This is somebody who's gone out of their way to actually do it. And Outriders Outpost actually looks very, very good. So go and give it a check out if you're an Outriders lover. This is definitely worth a look out. I'm actually really, really surprised. You've got armor calculators, weapon calculators, create and share builds. It's actually really clever. So that's really much what we've got on the Reddit right now. Actually a lot of positivity, which I'm kind of surprised about. I was half expecting some funny negative posts, but not today apparently. Anywho, that's all we've got time for today. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. I want to appreciate all of your damn faces and I hope that we hit 20,000 very soon with the help of you guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. And as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.